Good morning everyone and welcome to Out on the Ranch. I'm Dr. Lee and it is another beautiful day in South Texas and we are headed to the lake house today. And as you can tell it's pouring down rain and it's cold outside. It's about 44 degrees and we're not headed up there to water ski. One of our neighbors sent us some text messages and pictures this morning of our boat dock under water. So we're pretty concerned about that. Our boat is also floating up touching the top of the dock, uh, of the ceiling of the dock, and we're kind of concerned that it may be floating down river with what we understand are several other boat docks, boats, jet skis, and all kinds of things floating down the river due to a giant flood that's happened, washing out bridges and, and damaging a, a lot of uh, uh, lake houses and such at the lake. So we're pretty concerned about that. Um, the flood right now is the biggest flood that has happened to this particular area since 1935. And uh, it's an area that's supposed to be a constant level lake, but uh, Mother Nature didn't go along with that today. So come along for the ride. I don't know what to tell you to expect. Uh, not gonna be too much fun, but uh, should be fairly interesting.
really good at seeing them underwater or it's yeah. gone. Yeah. There are a lot of boats washing down the river. So there's going to be another five feet of water tonight? There, they said there's two more waves coming. Yeah. Um, one's supposed to be about the same as this morning, maybe a little higher, and then the other one's supposed to be five feet above that. Wow. Like they said, 43 <laughs> feet or 44 feet. Something Holy like that. cow. So your boat probably doesn't matter. It's still going to get water in it. His boat is just tipped. Our boat is still there, but it's just tipped. And he was wondering what. Did yeah, it's in its cradle and it couldn't go up any higher. In the, I think the water came up over it and swamped it. Can you? Yeah. Already. You just, you're not going to be able to get out. Yeah. There's no way. No. Yeah. Oh, and I can see. You see how high it went on this house, babe? Golly. And then it's going to be five more feet. Oh. From five this, more feet this is gonna be on top of that. Oh, my gosh. So, as bad as this looks already. And you can see the marks on that house right there. The fireman said five more feet of water tonight, higher than what we had last night. So this is a, this is not going to be good. I think my poor boat may be history. Yeah. Now you know why my toes are freezing. Yeah. You sure you don't need me to help you do that? Yeah. Lee? What? Is your phone up at the house? Yeah. Take a look in here too and see if it uh, see took if it on water. Out. Yeah. We need to check the pump too. It looks like it shifted the water pump over here. Did you see that? No. I'm not sure that it's not falling off the dock, off the ledge. Is there any way to take the racks off of it now? There is, but that thing's heavy. Really, really heavy. Well, even if you could take it off and put it in the boat, right? Lay it in the boat or... I don't know. You know, there is a way to lay it over, but I would have to lower the boat to be able to lay it over. That's what I should have done. I had not even thought about that. Are you sure you'd have to lower the boat? Yeah. And, oh, look, it's already not pulling the ceiling. It did? Yeah. Crud. It doesn't matter. You can take them off. It's still going to hit that bar. That's oh, it bent the bar, didn't it? No. It looks bent from here. I disagree. Oh, that bar. Yes, it bent that bar. It bent it. Dang it. Well, we got some. That's not cool. There's no water in this boat at all. Okay. So far. So far. Lucky, lucky.
Well, if it sinks, oh, it's not going to go lower than the thing, is it? Well, the only problem is if it gets all that white and it busts these cables, that the, the whole big thing's going down. Yep. And uh, these these ropes right here won't do anything for that. I'm just doing this in case somehow it breaks free and can float. I don't want to lose it in the light. We should have brought it home. You're right. You're doing there, huh? Neutering dog, Dad. All right. Who's gonna learn you? That's a mistake. <laughs>